Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and we're at my demonstration blog, Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team, which is using the WordPress version 3.1.1 along with the thesis theme version 1.8. And yes, you do need to be using some version of the thesis theme in order to follow along with this video tutorial. And what I'm going to show you today is how to customize your own 404 error page. What is that? Just look right here. You can see it says at the top the title of the page says you 404 it gnarly dude 404 means whenever you type in a URL or web address or look for a page that doesn't exist or click on a link that's broken within a website you'll end up with this particular page if you're using the thesis theme this is what you get by default now if you want to customize that page let me show you how to do that first of all let me go back I'm gonna click on this tab we're at my home page. Let me click on About. So we're at the, the About page. No big deal. I'm going to click on this tab. And at the very top, I'm going into the address bar. I'm just going to type in About. Okay, That would bring me back to the About page, but instead of typing About correctly, I'm going to add an extra T, and let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. This is my 404 error page. It's customized. It no longer says, you know, sorry, you 404 did gnarly dude, whatever. Now it says whatever the heck I want. This is the title up here. So sorry that the link didn't work. And then under that, it says whatever I want it to say. And yours can say whatever you want yours to say. Mine says, I'm very sorry. The link didn't work. Please click. Send me an email if the broken link is something you think it's something I should fix. Thanks so much. And there's a um, line break here to get a new line. Thanks so much. And then a new line to get Jupiter Gym. But I did not start a new paragraph. And I'll show you all about that in a minute. OK, step number one is we need to get that code. So let me open up. This is a notepad file. OK, essentially all we're going to do is just copy this code and paste it into the custom functions.php file on your thesis theme. That's it and that's all. But there's a couple of little things I need to go over first. First of all, to find the code up at the top, you can, what you want to do, you do want to go to jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com because by the time you watch this video, it will be in the blog post. Now, the easiest way, in my opinion, to get to that blog post is just type in jupiterjim.com into the address bar at the top of the browser, and then there'll be a link on my website, jupiterjim.com, that'll take you to the blog, jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com. Okay, the only thing you need to change really in here is this section down here. It, having my name doesn't make any sense, so I'm just going to put, um, let's just put Captain Bob. If anybody ever watched um, PBS channels when you were younger, he used to do the painting show and he was quite outstanding. This is the only part you need to change. Everything else you can leave the same, but let's just say you did want to change it. Let me show you how to do that. To change the content, this is a P tag right here. That's a paragraph, the opening paragraph tag, and this is the closing paragraph tag. Anything you can change, add any English text and punctuation in between those two paragraph tags that you want. This break tag here starts a new line without starting a new paragraph, and there's another one right here. You can delete those, you can keep them in, it's up to you. So anything right here, any of this text you want to change, feel free. Now the title of the page is right here. So sorry that the silly link didn't work. If you want to change that, feel free. So other than that, all you're going to do is just click in here, control C to copy, click in the white space to deselect. That's command C to copy on a Mac. I'm going to minimize this, go back to the dashboard of my blog, Jim's Max Jigsaw Marketing Team, where I've already logged in. Scroll down, go to Custom File Editor, click on Custom Functions PHP, Edit Select, and we're going to go down here. And what I need to do, I truly need to delete the code that was in there already. So 
keep the cursor on the lower left, and then press Control V, that's Control Victor, Command Victor on a Mac, and that will paste it or right click and paste whatever you prefer. And when you get to, I almost forgot to mention, when you get to the custom functions.php file, you get this little warning at the top. Please read it. Please heed it. Do not, absolutely positively, do not mess around with this file unless you have an FTP connection to the server hosting your WordPress blog files. And then once you do that, make a copy of this file to your computer hard drive because it is one little character that is messed up in this file can crash your whole blog. And if you do, if that happens, you want to be able to just upload that backup copy using the FTP program like Transmit for Mac or FileZilla for Windows. Anyways, go down here, click the big Save button. I'm going to right click here. And let's just type in about, again, I misspelled it. And if you see at the bottom, I did change it, so now it's Captain Bob, okay? Now, before I leave, I want to show you one other really sophisticated 404 error page and show you where you can get the code for that. So I'm going to click right here. And here you can see, here's the title. And that has a very nice font and color and all that. And you have some text here. And then what this is called in this section is an ordered list. So that requires some additional HTML code. This is called a bulleted list, and so you have two bullets. The first bullet tells people that they should check the URL for errors. The second bullet gives them an option of just clicking on an active link to get back to the home page. And down here, they have the option of just looking for whatever it is, the About page. So that's another thing they can do. And to find this code and to know where I got the code to do this, all this customization, what you want to do is go to my blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team, and there will be a link to this 415 page manual, which is absolutely outstanding. The number one best thesis theme tutorial manual on the market today. There's over 100 tutorials here. I think you'll really appreciate it. Okay, basically that's it. Let's go back to the demonstration blog. If you like this video, please let me know. Click on the like button, add your comments, subscribe to my blog and YouTube channel. Take care and have a great day.